Hey guys, and welcome back to Stay Inspired. Today's episode, I want to first of all give a shout out to Draw with Jazza because he's a guy I've been following for ages and he actually showed me this technique, um, which is what we're going to be using. It's wicked. Secondly, I want to give a shout out to my ginger friend Ollie Tibble who has taken direct part in this exercise. Um, so, without his input, we may well have a very different video right now. Basically, uh, today's focus is on weapon design. So, I've, let's show you. Let's just show you. So to begin, we just take the basic silhouettes of uh, weapons that we're going to be designing. In this case, I asked Ollie which weapons he would want, and he gave me four. So, took the basic silhouettes of these and then blacked them out. And then it's basically just a case of manipulating the silhouette. So you're not adding any detail, you're just playing with the shapes and the basic geometry to create something, add something new. It's really quick and easy to do and gives you a nice idea of how different these things can look. This can also be easily done without digital means like Photoshop. You can take images from magazines or books and using sharpies and markers just colour them in to get that black silhouette and then just again manipulate them and play around see what you like. It's best to go quite big with these ideas so that you can really create something that either hasn't been done before or it tends to be the case that ideas and shapes that you wouldn't necessarily associate with looking good or cool on a design might actually turn out to be surprisingly decent. There are a few examples whilst doing these weapons I went in certain directions that I didn't necessarily think would look good but once you've put pen to paper you can actually surprise yourself. When I had all the designs uh, finished and uh, silhouetted out, I gave them back to Ollie and he decided to pick one of the Warhammers, one of the crossbows, and one of the flails. When you're narrowing it down, you then just have to refine it a little bit more, just putting uh, certain meat on the bones just so you can get more of an idea of how the thing's actually going to look before taking it to uh, fully refine it. After I'd done this with the uh, three weapons Ollie picked, I took them back to him once more and he picked the final one to be further refined. By this stage I was actually happy with how all three of them came along, so they're all saved and tucked away in case I want to come back to them and maybe expand on them again in the future.
he picked the Warhammer to uh, take forward. It was just a case of adding in some little details. Again, flesh it out a little bit more and uh, have a bit more of a concept piece that I can take forward for the next stage. Unfortunately, um, during this last bit of illustration, uh, I had some frame rate issues which do show up. I'm not sure why. I also found out whilst refining this Warhammer, functionally it wouldn't have worked because it was too top heavy. And uh, this can often work in a lot of sci-fi shows and games, but it also has to have a, a an element of functionality to be realistic, so I had to actually tweak the design a little bit whilst I was in this final stage. Uh, because of the frame rate issues, I've put in a final image of the design, just for the clarity. Okay, thank you guys. So that is the final refined image. And this is actually going to be a two-parter, because in an uh, upcoming video, I will then be taking this refined uh, design and 3D modeling it for our very first Let's 3D model. Stick around, enjoy, remember to like and subscribe, and stay inspired. <laughs>